It's story time. It's a very fractured tale. Sadly true. Courtesy of North Korea. This is Wretched Radio. In North Korea, still persecuting Christians like nobody's business. A story from Faithwire. A young man, going to keep his name out of it to keep him safe. There was one homework I wish I had never done, he said. Want to guess what it was? Okay, try to be wicked, cruel, awful, a Christ hater. Just for a moment, what would you assign to the kids? Huh? What would you... You've got to write how much you hate Jesus, how much you love the current ding-dong dictator of North Korea. That's what I come up with. Oh, no. One day, his third grade teacher had announced that the students would have no homework that evening, but she did have one request. Quote, when you go home, I want you to look for a book. Normally, the book is black, and normally it's hidden and your mom or dad read it when you're asleep. If you look hard enough, you can find this book. And if you bring it, we will honor you. The young man rushed home to look for the book. Finally, he found it, his parents' Bible. He proudly presented it to his teacher the next day and received a red scarf as a reward. But when he returned home to show the scarf to his parents, they were gone arrested, along with the parents of 14 other children who had been, quote, honored for completing the assignment. Lovely. Just lovely. Have you been praying for your Christian brothers and sisters in North Korea? According to this article, there are 300,000 of them. I've heard higher numbers than that in North Korea. All underground. They are constantly in danger. Be praying for them. And also, be praying for the people in charge there. I think there are two prayers that are very valid, courtesy of the Psalms. One is we can we can simply pray for their conversion. Kim Jong Zip Zip, whoever he is these days, he, he could get saved. That would change things in North Korea now, wouldn't it? I think imprecatory is also just fine in this moment. Lord, if it is not your will to save him, tear him down. Get him out of power. Whatever means you choose to be the wisest, tear him down. Because they're fighting against your children. 300,000 Christians in North Korea, possibly more. By the way, just as an aside... This article, I don't know why they note this. This is this is just kind of random, it seemed to me. There are now at least 300,000 Christians in North Korea, but there aren't nearly that many Bibles in the country. Wow, do we hear that a lot. They, they can't get arrested for a Bible because they don't have one. And this is happening all over the globe. We've got Christians who do not have Bibles. Would you please think about supporting Bible League International to get Bibles into the hands of believers? Not into the hands of pagans, but into the hands of believers. It's $5 per Bible. $5. Perhaps you could ask yourself, how many of those could we send on a monthly basis? Because right now, I think it's pretty safe to say there are actually Christians who are praying that somebody will send them a Bible. Would you be one of those people? You can do that at wretched.org slash Bible, wretched.org slash Bible. I am nailing it today. I have so few skills. It's actually staggering. The other day, we we were shooting Wretched TV. I came walking out of the garage door onto the set, and I almost fell backwards. I can't even walk consistently. So thank you, if you will, for employing me. I'm very grateful. (laughs) 1-877-282-B. Please keep in mind, if and 
You choose to leave a message, Ixnay, on the airing sway, and try to keep it pithy so Joey can nap. Hey, Todd, did Jesus ever close his eyes when he prayed? I have no idea. Uh, I, I, I have no idea. I'm kind of a verse is rattling around in my head that he lifted, uh, said, who lifted their eyes to heaven? Oh, no, 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 that was the proud guy. That was the, no, <laughs> sorry, wrong Bible verse for you. I, I have no idea. I don't think you have to pray with your eyes closed. I think you can pray either way that you want. Whatever helps you to concentrate more, unless, of course, you'd like to pray when you drive, then keep them open. Otherwise, close them if it helps with concentration. Distractions are kept out that way. As far as praying out loud or internally, totally your call. Both things can be done. Jesus, I believe, did it both ways. It's, it's okay. God knows your thoughts. He knows what you're thinking. So whatever's best for you. And, and speaking of prayer, it's hard, isn't it? It's, it's a challenge. We, we, I, and everybody's had this. We, we are not off the hook because 21st century, we're just really busy and we got stuff. And when you get out of bed in the morning, you got to get on things because the cell phone and the, 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 it's always been a struggle. People have always been stressed and busy with stuff. I, I know it's a simpler life than what we currently lead. In fact, <laughs> I sometimes wonder about the insanity of, of really big cities. I, I don't know what the tipping point is, but I'm telling you, it just I, I wonder, it, it's not a sin, but is it the best way? We were actually in a an, an Uber. I almost called it a Uber. An Uber. Maybe they should rethink the name. At any rate, Uber? I was in an Uber. And the guy that was that was driving us was from Nigeria. He had Christmas music on, so I said, oh, Christmas music. Yes, sir, said he. Are you a Christian? Yes, I am. Bada boom, bada bing. You got a witness opportunity right there. We did that, but he we also got into a conversation that he used to live in Des Moines, Iowa. Nobody thinks, when I retire, I'm headed to Des Moines. Certainly not from the people on the two coasts. Des Moines. I think it's a great town. I've been there a ton of times. I, I could live there in a heartbeat. I could live in Omaha. I could live in Lincoln, Nebraska. Those are great towns. And he then suddenly just opened up like a damn broke. He said, it is, he had that Nigerian accent, which I find like really cool. It, it is totally crazy here. It, 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 is, it is just insane here. This is no way to live. And I sometimes wonder if that is true. What, Joey? Oh, sorry. Uh, John 17, 1, after Jesus said this, he looked towards heaven and prayed. Okay, there you go. All right. So eyes open, apparently. Eyes closed if you want to. I don't think that that particular detail or note was a prescription. It was a description. But didn't also the publican, he's the one who looked up like, look at me. So position is not the issue. Heart is clearly the issue. One was sinning. Jesus was not. The madhouse that is Atlanta. Is it better to be in a smaller town? Yeah, maybe maybe, maybe it is. Because... I'm not sure that God intends for us to be underneath this just intense sort of constant. Ah, 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 ah. If, you, if you can handle it, good on you. But I'm just not sure it's it's best. That lifestyle commentary has been brought to you by absolutely nobody. If you struggle to pray, don't let the intensity of 21st century living give you an excuse. Figure out a plan. You, you, you got to work, you got to work on it. You got to come up with your strategy. Uh, ask people how they do it. Not so that you can say, that's exactly how I'm going to do it because I really respect that person. They're a prayer warrior. So I'm going to do it just that way. Ask them. And then how does that fit into your life? This is the same with Bible reading. Work it out with your life and your schedule. Is it morning? I don't know. Is it evening? During the day? What? You figure, do reconnaissance on you. And figure out what works best for you so that you can be a relentless prayer and Bible reader. I was wondering, on spreading Bibles throughout the world, what about in the places where it's very dangerous and Bibles aren't allowed? What are your thoughts on Bible smugglers? Clearly against the law, but doing a good thing. Yeah, I, it, it, I think it depends, is, is, is what I think. Uh, 
I struggle with if you are asked specifically, you bring in Bibles in here and you got a suitcase full of them. I'm not sure that's wisdom and that's sort of lying. I, I don't think so, but I don't think that we have to obey the law. If, if we're not committing a sin and doing so like a lying sin, now there's just times when we do disobey the authorities. Not to be revolutionaries, but just like Paul, just or just like Peter and John. Look, you're telling us to not preach. We can't accommodate that. We've got to. There can be some bad laws from bad people. No, got to weigh them carefully, do it thoughtfully. Don't do it while sinning, but we're going to get Bibles to people, which which kind of brings us back to Bible League International, which can get some Bibles into... They do, they do things by the book, no pun intended. $5 a Bible. How many could you send overseas? You can do that at wretched.org slash Bible, wretched.org slash Bible. That was like an inclusio. This is Wretched Radio. 